very end of your response to, to Mr. Morantz's last question, you were beginning to talk about timelines for project approvals and the impact that that has on productivity, the drag on productivity. So I'd like you to maybe complete your answer if you'd like to and talk about how regulatory timelines uh, create delay, which creates a drag on productivity, which is, is where we get this declining per capita GDP that we have in Canada. So, look, we, we have um, well-intentioned regulations at different levels, federal, provincial, municipal in this country. Uh, you know, these are well-intentioned regulations. They they want to they want to make sure that you know these investments are in the best interests. Um, the difficulty is at times we have overlapping, sometimes even conflicting uh, regulatory approval processes. Um, it it they're tough for investors, you know, people who want to build uh, to navigate, uh, and they're there can be considerable uncertainty in how long it's going to take. So if I so, may. So what that does, it, 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 yeah, it scares investors off. Indeed. So, uh, so delays on th that capital will go somewhere else. For example, United States. Uh, yeah, and the, the gap in investment, the, the investment deficit with the United States, the, the, the difference between um, American investment in Canada and Canadian investment in the United States is now uh, do you do you have a, a, a I don't have the number in front of me, but okay. um, there's there's no question that um, you know too many companies, so foreign capital, even some Canadian capital, is uh, going to the United States because um, they can get faster regulatory approvals. Right, and we've we've heard at this committee that that, that difference is is almost half a trillion dollars. That sound about right and rough, roughly Yeah, I don't correct. have a number, but it's a big number. At the very end of your response to, to Mr. Morantz's last question, you were beginning to talk about timelines for project approvals and the impact that that has on productivity, the drag on productivity. So I'd like you to maybe complete your answer if you'd like to and talk about how regulatory timelines uh, create delay, which creates a drag on productivity, which is is where we get this declining per capita GDP that we have in Canada. So, look, we, we have um, well-intentioned regulations at different levels, federal, provincial, municipal in this country. Uh, you know, these are well-intentioned regulations. They're, they want to they want to make sure that you know these investments are in the best interests. Um, the difficulty is. At times, we have overlapping, sometimes even conflicting uh, regulatory approval processes. Um, it, it, they're tough for investors, you know, people who want to build, uh, to navigate. Uh, and there, there can be considerable uncertainty in how long it's going to take. So, If I so, may. So what that does, it, 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 yeah, it scares investors off. Indeed. So, uh, so delays on that capital will go somewhere else. For example, the United States. Uh, yeah, and the, the gap in investment, the, the investment deficit with the United States, the, the, the difference between um, American investment in Canada and Canadian investment in the United States is now, uh, do, you, do you have a, a, a I don't have the number in front of me, but okay. um, there's, there's no question that, um, you know, too many companies, so foreign capital, even some Canadian capital, is uh, going to the United States because um, they can get faster regulatory approvals. Right. And we've, we've heard at this committee that that, that difference is, is almost half a trillion dollars. That sound about right and rough, roughly Yeah, I don't correct. have a number, but it's a big number. Okay. So can you tell us about, would you, would you care to name some of the specific um, regulatory obstacles to investment? Um, you know, no, I, I, I'm not going to get into, you know, sort of specific line by line issues. I, I think that, you know, the message is um, we need, you know, we need to look at this from a whole of country point of view. Um, and these are well intentioned, but I think where we can streamline the process, provide more certainty, that's going to, that's going to be, uh, that's going to encourage investment. The productivity problem, it's a long standing problem. It's going to take you know, this is something 
along with getting rid of interprovincial trade barriers. You know, these are some th things that um, we we know what the problem. We know there's a problem. Uh, we know what it is. It's gonna, you know it's going to take some concerted effort to cut through it, um, but you know it's something we could do that if we can do it could have pretty good return in the short run.